than that. <coughs> no, actually, the radiation once we uh, delete open region, that uh, radiation boundary condition will go up. So I'm going for again insert far field, infinite sphere minus 182. And I think I'll just give it as 360. And okay, now just we'll see the radiation pattern. Actually, this is not the exact radiation pattern because I had a, a minimum, uh, like the convergence rate I had reduced a lot. So we'll go to DB and click on new report. So you can see 19.84 dB, the overall gain is. And uh, uh, in this particular case, you can see like. Uh, we had not, if we had the convergence is uh, pretty much high as 0 0.02 for a single element how we kept, it, then uh, we would have got a uh, better response. Then for finite array beam angle, uh, hearing, hearing aid uh, complaints for that MIMO, then uh, wavelength calculator, all these things. In this, uh, we will use this uh, for uh, beam forming. Just to demonstrate, we will be going for this particular finite array beam angle. Once we go to this, and uh, toolkit calculator will be coming. So, this particular toolkit calculator is nothing but uh, it will ask for in which particular angle my theta and uh, that is the input signal or the receiver signal is coming from. Okay, let's suppose um, just what we will do here is. So let's suppose we will keep an angle of change, theta from 0 degree, 0 degree is nothing but the starting range right now. Now we will make it to 90 degree. That this is, is for the input. Uh, uh, like the angle in uh, this finite array beam angle toolkit, what it does is, in which particular angle my signal uh, receiver, like let's suppose this is the base station, okay, that is the antenna placed on a mobile tower. So in uh, 5G, it's about the finite area, that is beam forming, massive beam beam forming is a ultimate target, where based on the input signal, my element should activate, like uh, in uh, nowadays system, it is like, we will be exciting all the antennas together, it will be put, uh, concentrating on particular direction, and it will uh, try to communicate, like each uh, lobe or uh, the crosstalk is nothing but, uh, is there any interpretation between these two lobes, mm -hmm. if it is happening, the lobe which is connected to me and uh, the lobe which is connected to you in between if, you, if someone is tra trying to uh, call or uh, communicate at that particular point, that will be a crosstalk happening there. Mm -hmm. So that's what uh, we hear when we call. Uh, some other persons will be talking, in between them uh, we like we wouldn't call some other. But uh, we will be getting some other's uh, like connection or something like that. So that interpretation will be happening to neglect that as well as to reduce the power, like in this, all the systems will be excited. excited. But in massive MIMO beam forming application, let's suppose a, a caller is calling at an angle of 90 degree which we are given. So the maximum direction is this, in this particular phase. So that should be an another antenna of the first case to go for this particular 90 degree phase. And another thing is like these two elements will be almost excited at the same time. So, so that's what you can see in uh, antenna towers and all. In each and every direction, there will be a kind of an array antenna which will be placed there. So here, what uh, in massive memo it will be doing here is 0 to 180 degree from this phase to this phase when I am trying to keep here. So once a receiver uh, signal is getting to the base station antenna, these elements which is at the corner, like for an example, 25 elements of antenna. <coughs> So let's suppose this is the antenna structure which we had made. So if I make this is 0 degree of uh, theta and this is 
90 degree of <coughs> theta. So I am receiving a signal from this particular angle. What it has to do is the excitation system of the elements has to be activated in this phase and the elements which is uh, activated at the center has to be deactivated and this has to be concentrated and the directivity based on this it will be more here. So this we call it as massive beam of beam forming. As an initial phase to test how uh, the beam forming is working, we have a direct toolkit here. So what it does is it will be changing the phase of the input here. Sir, so there is an an spacing between the elements or not? No. No. Spacing, spacing between elements in the sense? The edge space is already present there. No? no, there is a lambda by 2 or lambda by 4 space difference between the two elements. Actually, lambda by 4, uh, we can keep it as it should be uh, in array uh, concept, in this particular concept, it should be coupled. It should not that uh, only a single element will be no, will not be concentrating on uh, a single customer. Okay. okay. So, two, three antennas will be coupled so that my beam or the directivity will be high for a particular customer. Okay. okay. So, I could explain you in a way. This is an example of beam forming, how we see. Okay, so if a, a person is trying to move also, based on that, my radiation pattern should be uh, the lobes should be directly concentrating on that. Okay, so, so in this particular case, beam is stating as well. In this particular case, you can see this is one user, this is a stand stilled user where my element is almost excited at the same time. But instead of exciting uh, anytime this, what it happens is based on the change of uh, space the elements will be that is change of angle depending on the change of angle of theta and pi my phase angle will be changing here and based on that my beam forming will be still here how tracking sir yes sir beams are how the beams are tracking the user it uh, we call it as channel state uh, in uh, information we'll extract the channel state information actually we use python and uh, matlab coding with this python or matlab coding so, uh, Sir, can you give that code to us? Code I can't give, actually we, we got it from answers. So, I'll uh, let you know what exactly the exactly code the is. Exactly the algorithm you can say yeah, then uh, we can I'll write. share you the algorithm, uh, like uh, what uh, the background is. Don't use the direct coding of that. No, no, direct not. We just need the algorithm of that. Yeah. So, this like beam steering? Yeah, beam steering. So actually we have different things, I will not touch, uh, based only on 5G, 5G, I will just stick with antenna only. Okay. So there is only with HFSS we can go through. So just uh, for your information I can show you what and all we will be doing with uh, HFSS is. Basically uh, we had did till this, like we had created a single element, then using domain decomposition we used to go for array. And then once we have went for array, we will go for antenna placement analysis using SBR plus. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will go for link budget analysis. Okay. Then after that, uh, beam forming using circuit, how uh, we will go for beam forming using phase shifters, mm -hmm. all these things. And then electrothermal analysis. And then the channel state information where the post processing of, like uh, this channel state information where it is, if it, that will be done with SBR plus while the array will be made and that will be placed in an external environment and we will model that uh, environment. And so this channel state information you have uh, doing in a like experimental way or? Uh, it basically experimental way uh, uh, we had set a uh, uh, certain limit in that. It is not like uh, he will be roaming all over the city. No, no, just like a simple model. Simple like model, miniature yeah, model. Miniature yeah. model. Yeah. And we did not go for much of the use. So for this simulation itself, city model itself, it took uh, almost yeah, it uh, <laughs> two and a half days or three days in HPC itself. It so this post-processing uh, we used to do and then based on that post-processing, we will uh, we'll go for uh, that uh, beam steering application. So 
overall it, it will be kind of all uh, two to three days it will go for five days sir. simulation itself so you can see uh, the phase angle will be changing every time once you change this particular phi and theta value mm. it will be changing but you should ask me this by giving uh, a number how it changes one thing is like you had noted like phase shift a and phase shift b here okay this what it will do here is once you go to excitation now this is our input right yeah this is the input in which particular signal uh, angle i am getting it mm. so now once you go to excitation everything will be dependent on that toolkit Okay, okay, okay. So previously so, we had even zero, zero. zero, one and zero. We didn't consider phase at all. Then. It resembled only like um, along z direction. It was uh, that is along theta zero degree. It was fully concentrated. Here you are not giving any parameters. So is is that any particular with that bad fever scan theta? Yeah, yeah. Actually, scan theta is so the angle. In case we can give any other parameter, don't work. No, no. If you give uh, some other uh, name also A or B also, it's just a variable actually. So once you can see here, based on the inputs, based on phase shifters, one is nothing but zero is nothing but the phase shifter which has been used for first four elements, and in each case, each elements will be used here. Okay, so for 25 elements, this is how they used to build it, and. Uh, scan magnitude or uh, will be uh, one watt commonly for all, and uh, based on phase angles only, your uh, beam will be forming here. So this is one case. Let's suppose we had uh, designed this particular beam. Next step is, if we need to, is any kind of break is in between. Sir, we take break, sir.